not an empath, you're actually just a people pleaser and you struggle putting yourself first. Now, of course, you can be an empath and a people pleaser. Sometimes they come together as one. But when you feel so deeply, when you understand people on this energetic, emotional level, it is very likely that you're going to end up stepping into some sort of people pleasing behaviors in order to create a more secure safe spot for yourself. So for example, people are going to be coming to you if you're an empath, if you're a people pleaser, people are going to be coming to you asking you for help, asking you for advice, asking you for guidance. What do you do in this case? If you end up completely forgetting about what you yourself are going through and you end up doing everything you possibly can to help them, then you are a people pleaser. But if in this moment you end up holding space for them and telling them at the same time that, hey, I'm sorry, but I don't have the energy for this right now. I cannot be doing this. Can we talk later? That makes you an empath. Because being an empath also requires you to be empathetic towards yourself. You cannot put other people's first. You cannot put their journey above yours. You need to start treating yourself the same way that you would be treating all of these other people that you are helping. And if people pleasing is a limiting belief that you are also going through, then you need to heal it through your subconscious mind. Because if you don't, you're going to end up giving everyone else your energy and having absolutely nothing left for yourself. So how can you show up and be there for yourself? How can you give yourself more energy? This is something that I help all of my coaching clients and in my one-on-one -on -one consultations. I help you see that there is so much more that you can give yourself and we rewire your subconscious mind to actually be able to do this effortlessly.